Hey, this is Frank Rich from Star Wars Autograph Collection. I'm here at the Rhode Island Comic Con at the Rhode Island Convention Center with uh, the R2 Builders Group, and this is Dave Powers. In the land speeder, we have Jedi Jesse and Princess Riley. That is pretty cool. Not every day you see a working land speeder, folks. Dave, could you tell us a little bit about your group, the R2 Builders, what, you, what you're doing? And it's actually Dana, but that's Dana. All right. That's all right. Um, R2D2 Builder, that's just um, my website of the adventures that I go on with my children. Um, Astromech.net is actually the builder site that I found online um, to build my own R2D2. It's basically a group of other builders all around the world that share um, thoughts, ideas on how they build um, do part runs together, things of that nature. But basically, um, if you want an R2, you have to build your yourself one. So um, you say it can take like three to five years to build one. You can make them out of plastic, um, metal, wood, all sorts of stuff. And they do different things. They'll drive around, they'll talk, light up. Some of them will have the, the gadgets and uh, you can go crazy. <laughs> now how did you, personally, how did you get involved and when did you decide you wanted to make I had a an dream. R2? I had a dream. My son and I, four years ago, we were uh, Jedi's um, for Halloween, and I was like, I'm gonna build an R2D2. So I went online, I found the group, took a leap of faith, started to build my R2, and uh, after I built it, I'm like, now what? And then I found out that they have um, these conventions, um, parades, charity events. Um, I don't know, Star Wars is everywhere. You think of it, sporting events, I mean, it's just everywhere, so. Absolutely. Now, how, have you, how many units have you built? Is this the, just, just, just one. The, just the one? I, I was going to build a second one. I was thinking about doing a pink one, but um, decided to go with the go with the speeder, so. I hear it gets, from the other builders, I, I, I hear it gets kind of addictive after a while. They want to keep building. It, yeah, it, it, it does, because you keep working on them, keep making them better. I mean, the electronics and everything that goes into it, um, you, you know, you keep wanting it to do more and more things that the one in the movie did so Absolutely. and now you also have I see the the lands the land speeder project Can you tell yep. us a little bit about this the, the land speeder project actually was a, um, a, a an owner um, who had it he worked on the body um, it went to another owner who um, put the body on the car and, and did all the detail work um, and there were a lot of other people involved in making the parts to make it as authentic as possible um, so I mean all the, the scoring and the paint job and just everything they put a lot of time and energy and effort into it so hence called the land speeder project so um, like I said a bunch of people were involved and I just got it kind of strengthened things up added a few things made it a little bit more uh, road worthy for doing these sort of events fantastic and that's the, it, it is I'm just gonna get a shot of this that it's just right next to odd too this is an unbelievable piece of work um, and, it, and it drives it's like a golf cart so really it cruises right along and it's got the sound system to sound like you know it's hovering and everything that is a, that is amazing yep. and we're here at the first Rhode Island comic-con what have yep. your, been, your impressions been of the event so far oh it's, it's been great this is my first time coming here I'm always looking to go to a new convention and um, yeah, everyone's been great they had a great turnout um, so yeah I'm looking forward to maybe coming back at another time so. that'd be great and we've got some big news in the Star Wars universe this week. You care to yep, that, tell us that about how, Disney, how you, the Disney sale? Disney's, yeah, what? That's going to be great. I, I think, you know, um, people are getting older. It's time to pass things on. And if someone's got the money and the, uh, you know, the know-how to take this to the next level, it's going to be Disney. So I'm excited to see what they're uh, going to have in store for us. Hey, Dana, do you have any other uh, conventions lined up that you'll be attending with the with your uh, um, projects? Yeah, com coming up would be uh, Super Mega Fest next month um, in Framingham, Mass. We're going to that. And um, I'm trying to think, most of them have already passed, but I mean, New York Comic Con, everyone was just at that. Um, trying to think of things on the East Coast. Montreal Comic Con, we've been to that. So um, there's a lot of, um, in Connecticut, there's a lot of them too. So. It seems like they keep popping up all over the place. So there's, there's always a convention somewhere. Oh, a new one. Well, let's let's get the kids' take on this. Yeah, hey guys. Hey guys. So what is this? You have a land speeder. You have your own land speeder. Back in there. Back in there. Cut. 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 <laughs> Are you gonna take it for a ride? Yeah. Fire it up. Push the button. Push the button. Try again. Here, hold on. Oh, 
Very cool guys, you are two lucky kids. Alright, Dana and Jedi Jesse and Princess Riley, thank you very much. And may the force be with you. Thank you, Dana.